missing money and inaccurate records. A new audit released today of a Long Island town, and it's found some serious flaws that will cost taxpayers. Our Lily Stolzberg has the story. These issues are significant. With that, State Controller Thomas DiNapoli unleashed a scathing report criticizing Islip Town budget practices dating back 20 years. They include cash shortages, inaccurate fund balances, and unauthorized payments. Uh, the town also had a cash shortage of over $12,000. Among other things, DiNapoli said village residents paid expenses that should have been shared by all town residents and vice versa. He also said town employees racked up $111,000 in unauthorized leave time and fringe benefits. But DiNapoli stopped short of blaming fellow Democrat Phil Nolan, the town's current supervisor, saying Nolan's administration has been working to correct the problems. And Nolan said he actually requested DiNapoli's audit. Islip Town taxes are at the very lowest on Long Island among big towns, if not the lowest, and I'm very proud of that. Head back upstairs, Phil! As the two Democrats spoke, they were heckled by a crowd that included some town Republicans. Republican Town Councilwoman Trish Bergen Weichbrot said Nolan could have used millions of misdirected dollars for tax relief. Phil Nolan could have used that money to lower taxes here in the town of Islip, and instead he chose to raise taxes and hide the funds. Now, while the state can controller did praise the town for correcting what he calls are years worth of problems. He still did refer his report to the Suffolk District Attorney's Office for further investigation. Nolan denies any money was hidden. There was a long-term pattern of mismanagement that we've addressed and we're in the process of cleaning up. In Islip, Lily Stolzberg, News 12 Long Island. Republicans are also calling on the state attorney general to investigate the town's budget practices and meanwhile the DA's office declined to comment.